Today's messengers are First Chakra, Archangel Michael Fourth Chakra, Archangel Raphael Fifth Chakra, Archangel Gabriel And our favorite, Happy Family <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to the Daily Vitamin Where you get your daily dose of spiritual sweetness well, boy, howdy, gang, gang. You know, you know what's missing in today's spread. You, you know, you know who I'm not seeing in today's spread. I'm not seeing that narcissistic little shit kicker, that little Kevin Sorbo wannabe, <laughs> that little hell raising Hercules. I'm not seeing that in today's spread. I'm not seeing that energy one bit. Remember that little hostilities card that just kept following you around, you and your happy family. I'm not seeing them. I'm not seeing them. And it's, and it's nice. It's nice. It's a feeling of being in a really loud, hustling and bustling environment for a long time. And then all of a sudden it's quiet. It's so quiet that your ears are ringing. There's like a high pitch resonance in your ears because there's been so much noise for so long that it is almost like painfully noticeable when it's gone. This is what this is feeling like to me. And I feel that something has been uprooted in order to clean out the root, right? First chakra, this is root chakra. This is all about money, your stability, your shelter, feeling safe, feeling secure, your foundations. What are you building for yourself? What are you doing in the material world? This is all about physicality. It's all about physical health, right? This is like big, big, big stuff. Also with the first chakra, this is the densest energy center out of all of our energy centers. The energy that is within our root chakra is the slowest moving energy. And the reason that this is even being highlighted is because I feel like that, that little skid mark that kept showing up in these happy family readings, I feel like it has taken a long time <laughs> to rinse that stain out. I really do. I feel like in order to, to <laughs> y'all, okay. <sighs> I just feel like you've been dealing with some shit. There's just a lot of references to shit. <laughs> I'm sorry to be so crude. I am sorry to be so candid. But I really feel like this was just a whole lot of bullshit. A whole lot of nonsense. It's just unnecessary. It's just like done, digested. It's not useful anymore. Maybe we could fertilize something else with it. But even that, I, I just, yeah, I'm hearing toxic sludge. You can't fertilize anything with toxic sludge. So some toxic, dense, slow ass moving energy that was just like a dingleberry on your life. And again, I apologize for being so crude, but this is just, this is coming through with such emphasis. Like this is something that has like just stunk up the scene. It's, it's like impacted your relationships. It's impacted your money. It's impacted your health. It's impacted your feelings of safety and security. Like whatever and whoever that was made you feel insecure, made you doubt yourself, prevented you from growing, prevented you from evolving, prevented you from taking care of yourself, prevented you from loving yourself, prevented you from building your empire, building your business, building uh, a network, but just there's so many things that that energy has impacted that you have officially flushed and cleaned up. You have flushed your energy. You have flushed your chakra system. And it's clear the fact that I mean, with the Archangel Michael, I mean, Archangel Michael uses his broad sword of truth, right? Just cutting through the shit, cutting it down left and right, flushing it out, which is what opening up that heart. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Archangel Raphael, what does he do? He brings in that, that emerald green fire light of healing, right? Infuses that fire light so that it can fill any gaps. It can heal and mend any tears or openings within our heart, within our, our auric field, right? Any, any potholes, any soft spots that need reinforcement. Archangel Michael is your boy. He is your boy to call in the light in order to help healing heal whatever is needed, whatever is necessary. And because you had this like wrench in the gears, this, this narcissist, this energy sucker, this vampire, right? This energetic vampire that was just like feeding and consuming and siphoning your life force energy. It genuinely created problems that 
may have created health problems, money problems, relationship problems, emotional problems. And look at all the healing that's happening now. And because of all the healing that's happened and it continues to happen, we're able to talk about it. We're able to speak our minds. We're able to talk about things that may previously were not talked about. We're not openly identified that we're not called out. You know, I was having memories the other day of how I just always annoyed my family of origin, like my cousins, aunts and uncles, because I would, I was the feeler of the family. No one felt things as deeply as I did. And I always thought that this was a problem. You know, I always thought that I was, I mean, I was, I was the black sheep of the family. I was the only child of the only girl, the only divorce, uh, she was one girl out of all the boys. She was the only one who was divorced. I didn't have a father. It was like all these things that were against this little innocent kid who's probably ADHD, probably considered autistic, right? Like there's all these things going on that the family just didn't understand, but I felt things so deeply. You know, it didn't matter what, what the family members were saying or what they were telling me or telling each other, I could feel otherwise. I was literally seeing, I was seeing energy. I was seeing colors, I was seeing auras, I was seeing spirits as a child and no one wanted to hear that. And so I was having these memories of how I, all I was trying to do is be honest. I was just trying to be truthful. I would ask genuine, sincere questions out of like genuine curiosity. And there was just like no time for it. We don't talk about those things. We don't acknowledge them. If we don't talk to Kate, if we don't acknowledge her, maybe she'll go away, right? And it's like, there were so many moments where I look back with such compassion for little Kate and any other child who goes through this because my experience is not uncommon. It's not rare, I'm not special. Unfortunately, my experience in childhood is all too common. And I still see it these days. It's like, my goodness, I'm what? And I'm 40 years old, 40, 41 now, how old am I now? I'm 41 now, right? And I still see it happen. It's like, we haven't done better yet since I was a kid. It's still rampant in families where we just don't acknowledge things. Things are uncomfortable or things are awkward. And it's not just families, it's it's in partnerships and relationships and friendships and in companies and business organizations. And I have learned and this is just, you know, taking a page out of my own book is I've learned that I will not deal with, with people or I will not get into relationships or I will not have friends or I will not work with or for uh, organizations or companies that aren't fully transparent because operating in a way where it's like you're co-signing that, that understood ro rule or law that we don't talk about things, we don't acknowledge the truth that's what creates sickness, that creates imbalance, that creates mental health issues, that creates anxiety and insomnia and God knows what else. I mean, the list goes on and on. And you probably know this because you have probably experienced this yourself. You're probably also coming from a very similar circumstance, may not be your family of origin like it was for me, but I'm sure you've had relationships or friendships or uh, you've had teachers or you've worked in environments or you've had you know, relationships or even situationships that may have reflected this of just avoiding the truth or avoiding what's real. And how can people truly be happy in an environment like that? People are going to feel like they're not seen, they're not heard, they're not validated. Everyone is just faking everyone out, right? Everyone's just, just posturing and, and posing right? to make things look good on the surface. And it's, it's just not real. It's just not real. So that when it matters, they're not able to show up. So I know you know what I'm talking about because I'm talking about it while I'm connected to the collective energy, right? So if you are resonating with this collective, then you are knowing what I'm talking about because I feel like, again, it's because we can talk about it now. We can talk about it now. And the reason we can talk about it now is because we're stronger now, because we've identified it, because we've, we've cleaned it out, right? We've detoxed it, we've removed it, or we've moved away from it. And what this is resulting in now is our favorite card in the whole dang deck. <laughs> it's the happy family. And this is just, this is so balanced. I love everything about this card. Even if you're not a part of a family of four, everything about this card to me is so balanced because you have the masculine, you have the feminine authority, right? Or patriarch and the matriarch. And then you have the inner child or the children. You have the free spirits, the innocence, right? Of the masculine and the feminine embraced by the full spectrum of wisdom archangel raziel showing up right in that rainbow that is the collective wisdom that is the collected uh schooling um challenges struggles that you have alchemized 
into knowledge that you have been able to apply into your own intellect and acuity and <laughs> I'm laughing because I just heard just plain old knowing what the fuck to do. Do you know what I mean? Just knowing what the fuck to do and how to handle things. I just, this is a cause for celebration. I'm just, I'm very happy for you. If you are resonating with this message, I'm very, very happy for you. I'm proud of you because I feel like this took some sticking up for yourself. Maybe calling in the cavalry, you know, he had to call in reinforcements. But this is beautiful. Just so much light here. So much light. The angels are showing up for you. Really supporting this happy family energy. Allowing them to move, 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 move over. I'm hearing ludicrous. Um, move on. <laughs> move over far away from the stuck and stagnated patterns and the staleness. It's just staleness that you may have been stuck in or experiencing. And this is, I'm just hearing enjoy your time together. Enjoy your time together. Radiant. Absolutely radiant. Yay. Yay for happy families. Because you know what? Happy families make for happy children. And happy children just fills my heart and soul to the brim. Because happy children make for some pretty well-adjusted adults. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? Okay. I'm going to leave everything right there. I'm going to slide across the table, hand it to you. You do what you do with it. You take your time. I'm going to send you some love. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>